Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASHTO T209, Theoretical Maximum Specific Gravity and Density of Asphalt Mixtures. This test is often referred to as the RICE test or GMM test. Ensure that the sample meets minimum sample size requirements. Short-term condition the sample according to ASHTO R30 if required. The sample should be dry before testing. If conditioning or drying the sample was required, remove the sample from the oven and place it on a non-stick surface. Grape the pan to remove fines and asphalt residue. Spread out the particles and separate any clumps while cooling. While still warm, separate the fine aggregate clumps by hand until there are none greater than a quarter of an inch in size. Allow the sample to cool to room temperature. Unplug the water circulator in the water bath and check for any interference with the scale, both above the platform and below. Maintain the water bath temperature at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Fill the water bath to overflowing. Allow the water level to stabilize. Place the vacuum bowl on the scale platform. Zero the scale or record the tear weight. Place the cooled asphalt sample in the vacuum bowl. Place the vacuum bowl with the sample on the scale platform and record the dry mass of the asphalt sample. If a tear weight was recorded, subtract the tear weight from the weight of the vacuum bowl and sample to obtain the dry weight of the sample. Cover the sample completely with water. The temperature of the water should be approximately 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Sink any floating particles. A wetting agent may be used to aid in the release of entrapped air. Seal the vacuum bowl, start the pump, and close the relief valve. Apply a vacuum of 30 plus or minus 5 millimeters of mercury for 15 minutes. When the pressure reaches the required range, start the timer. Agitate the container every 2 minutes or use a mechanical agitator. The water may appear to boil under initial vacuum. When the vacuum period has elapsed, turn off the timer, vacuum pump, and mechanical agitator if used. If vacuum is complete, the water should no longer be boiling. Release the vacuum pressure slowly by opening the release valve at no more than 60 millimeters of mercury per second. At this rate, it takes about 12 seconds to return to normal atmospheric pressure. Remove the lid and ensure that all particles are below the surface of the water. Zero the scale. Carefully submerge the vacuum bowl and sample in the water bath. Take care to not expose the sample to air or lose fine particles. Place the container securely on the way below platform and leave the sample submerged for 10 minutes. Record the submerged mass of the vacuum bowl with sample. Remove the vacuum bowl and sample from the water bath. To check the standardized mass of the submerged vacuum bowl, refill the water bath to overflowing and allow the water level to stabilize. Zero the scale. Submerge the empty vacuum bowl in the water bath for 10 minutes. Record the submerged mass of the empty vacuum bowl. If this value is within plus or minus 0.3 grams of the standardized mass, use the standardized mass for calculations. Procedures for obtaining the standardized mass and checking the submerged bowl mass are outlined in Annex 1 of ASHTO T209. 
Calculate the maximum specific gravity of the asphalt mixture by dividing the dry sample weight by the difference in the dry and submerged sample weights. Report this value to three decimal places. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.